Hello and welcome to How To RC. We're going to talk about a motor mount today. But it won't be a motor mount for a T-Max. It's going to be a motor mount about a Multiplex Twin Star. I've been flying a Twin Star for a number of years. It makes a terrific camera platform. Flying at FPV. I've got a uh, seaplane hull for one I'll show you a little later and uh, recently put one on floats and had a great time flying it at uh, the Southeast Flight Festival down in Georgia this spring and flying it here in Connecticut where I am on the lake. The only problem I have with the Twin Star um, is really is the motor mount. I don't like the motor mount. So here we have the stock motor mount. It comes in two pieces, you screw it together. This is my motor mount, the one that I've designed and I manufacture them. You'll see that we have the normal uh, bolt pattern for this size motor. It's uh, 16 millimeter this way and 19 millimeters this way. Here's a Turnigy Aero Drive uh, 2836 motor mounted up in in my motor mount. Uh, all four bolts match up, and coincidentally, the holes that I put in the motor mount for cooling mount match the holes in the back of the motor. Now, when I first started doing these. I thought that the bulkhead mount was neat and strong and that was the way to go. But I soon discovered that if you put the propeller out here, the shaft bends. And then if it's not easy to get a new shaft, and you got to wait for it and blah blah blah. But I discovered that if you mount them this way, you're not going to bend the motor shaft. The can is only about a millimeter away from the base of the motor. So if you hit something, it can only deflect just so far and that isn't far enough to bend the shaft. You can, however, bend the adapter. But the adapters are cheap aluminum. They're not a lot of money. So this is the way I advise you to put these motors in. This is a 2836 uh, 1040 kV motor that I've been running on my, my uh, float plane, my twin star float plane. Now here's, here's how I would mount them. I'd take a little uh, 150 grit sandpaper and, and roughen up the aluminum uh, glue tabs to give the glue uh, some, some way to grip the aluminum and it's already got the holes in there that just give the glue a better grip. Here's the, uh, here's the stock brushed motor. Fits right into my motor mount. All four bolts line up. Cooling holes kind of line up. And the bushing I, I drilled the center out big, just coincidentally big enough for the bushing. I, Whatever glue you choose, you could probably use silicone. And if you have the motor in the motor mount when you go to mount it, then you can align the motor so that the propeller is the distance away from the nacelle that you like. So let's take a look at one. This is my twin star as a seaplane. There's a guy out there, I'll have to find the link for you, that makes this seaplane hull that glues right on. It's made out of Lexan. And he gives you the, uh, tells you the floats with the, the boat hull. The step's in the right place. And uh, I modified it a little because I, I found it was kind of wet. So I I cut the whole bottom of the plane off um, just above the Lexan hull and added a couple of layers of Depron foam so that it jacked the plane up about 12 millimeters and I made a spray shield out here so that 
the water would stay away from the motors. But that didn't seem to be enough. So I added uh, spray shields to the underside of the motor nacelles. I think this is uh, about a, a third of a, an Advil bottle. So I got, got both shields on one Advil bottle. And that seems to work real good. I've flown this uh, quite a few times this summer. And uh, uh, no ESC failures. The ESCs are, are um, right here. Right behind the motor in the nacelle. And I also have been flying it on a uh, float plane. So I've had good luck flying it on uh, the Twin Star as a float plane. I think these are uh, floats for a Super Cub that I bought at the local hobby store because they seem to be about the right length. And it flies beautifully off here. Handles the weight, no problem. I'm only flying it with a 2.2 uh, milliamp hour battery. Uh, unfortunately, I had rather <clears throat> bad landing the last time I came out, but uh, but it flies great even with the with the floats, and uh, that's a lot of fun. So if you're interested, come on over to How to RC, and I'll sell you a pair of motor mounts for the Multiplex Twin Star.